right, everybody, welcome back to more Elden Ring. My name is Ludo. I am coming at you live here on Twitch. And we are currently doing the Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC. We found this suppressing pillar. Super huge structure with a wonderful dragon smithing stone at the top. Beautiful architecture. Love. I love the elevator. <laughs> actually can't die on this elevator so that's super interesting no maybe you can you probably never go back up there so let's go ahead and just send it up see if there's anything in the pillar maybe hidden underneath right here would not put it past from software to do that today we will look around over here a little bit more we are honestly wanting to Fill in more of the map, which, holy crap, that is the next map shard piece, and there's one, and there's one, so we need to progress over here, around this plateau on the bottom, and then maybe over here, but that still doesn't, uh, fill in the Morth Highway. So we've got three waypoints that we can hit up so far, which we will probably do today. Looks like there's nothing hidden at the bottom, unless it was up there where we can't see it. We almost have another level up. We're about halfway to another level already, which uh, we're at level 98. I think whenever we started, we were at level 80, 88, 89, something like that. So just playing around in the starting area of the DLC, we've already gotten about 10 levels, probably. So this is the area we could see before. That is the Cerulean Coast right there. It looks like there's way more content to explore. This place is huge. This is a DLC. This is a DLC. There's a capital. What is that? This is a DLC. Must I remind you again? This is a DLC. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. We've already been there. Let's go travel I'm torn because this looks like a starter area. So I don't really want to do. We could travel down to the coast and try to get that waypoint. But we could travel up here and get this waypoint and that would show us a whole lot more map. Let's do that. Let's see what we get. I think that's a troll. It is. It's just a troll. Okay. Um, one thing I did want to check out. Let's look in our inventory real quick. Look at the new items. Why is it showing me the flask? And the new items. That's kind of strange. Ancient dragon, ancient dragon smithing stone, phenomenal. Uh, Empyrean blood burgeon, materials for crafting item. Where to find a young shoot, heavy with blood, is said to burgeon forth from where the golden blood of Mikla, the wounded Empyrean, pooled. Cool. Got six of those so far. Some white flesh mushrooms. Swift Spear, a metal-bodied spear of extremely lightweight make, being the result of a sophisticated molding technique, capable of swift consecutive attacks and paling thrust. You know what? Let's take another gander at this deep purple lily, water lily that is on the verge of wilting, 
grows in blue flower fields at the coast. Like a syrupy poison, its nectar lulls the imbiber into sweet, velvety sleep. And then soldier ashes. How much did it cost, by the way? 72. That's not bad. If they can pull out crossbows, that might be the way to go. Let's go up here. Click around in here. We don't have high enough decks. No. It's 26 decks. Let's equip it anyways. That might be worth it. Hold on. You can feign the first attack. That's awesome. You can be facing this way and attack completely 180. I love it. The range is really good on it as well. Is it lighter than... Twenty-one dexterity, so we need five levels in dexterity. Is it lighter than the whip? I should wait, 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 wait. Three and three. It's on the same, same part. I feel like it has more potential than the whip. Um, shit, I might even leave it equipped. Um, and just be able to use it for a stun. I love that. That is the way I want to go for sure. Because I only really use my offhand for stunning... Um, Invaders, MP, NPC targets, stuff like that. We just did 3k to him right there as well. I am excited. We might be able to two two shot these guys now. No, probably not. And we still can basically die in two attacks. Wouldn't spawn these guys in. This is the first time I've spawned them into the Shadow Realm. Let's see how much damage they do. Minimal. They do minimal damage. Finish, fellas. Oh, yeah, I had that coming. I was getting cocky. That I've had with these guys is they do not follow as well as like your mimic tier. Your mimic tier is always up your butt. He's on you. These guys not so much. Oh, no, you 
then went to a different game. I mean, I don't really feel like I need to make my Spirit Ash or the Spirit Summon more effective. They're doing work already. Level 6. I mean, they're not doing damage by any means, but they're definitely, uh... Dude, that's gorgeous. Absolutely. I love that. One there, one there, a couple in the background, or some torches, a door. God, why does a bear want to tussle? Oh my god, it's not a super bear. <laughs> the animals, thankfully, are health wise, are still pretty well killable. Our first actual catacomb. We'll touch the grace, block group catacombs. We'll touch the grace and then we will get out of here. A little area right there. question is, what is the point of a catacomb if we already have collected the max tier of ghost, um, ghost or grave glove wart outside of the DLC? I don't know. Very good question. I think... 
think this is an oh no moment. I don't think we can reach the map piece from here. So what would that mean? We'd have to travel through the valley. Travel through the valley, the river, up, probably through this settlement. Where did I go? That is not what I wanted to do. And no, maybe not through the settlement. Maybe this is a pathway. Okay. Looks like this is a path up through here to the waypoint. So this is all for naught. to do what to do. I don't really want to deal with water right now. So, uh, let's explore over here. We don't have a map piece around this area, visible to us, but uh, it'll be all right. Just as I say that, the screaming starts. <laughs> it'll be all right. Let's check this outer side right here. Make sure there's nothing that we're missing on this side. I love the spear. I love this thing. Why are you here? There's a second one. Is it headless? I think that one's headless. faking me out. He was faking me out that whole time. Blessing America. We'll have to take a peek at that once we get the hell out of here. Oh god, you're real too. <laughs> that was a headless one. It didn't have a head. And it started wandering around like it didn't have a head. Just to fool me. abilities doesn't look like it uh, just kidding ghost flame that makes sense holy piss
this is a whole new area. Absolutely massive. stuff but uh, I, I'm not interested in dying right now don't be friendly where did that bat even go oh, I died of course bridge there bridge there bridge there tree 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 This is massive. Huge. I'm gobstruck. And this should be a DLC. What was the DLC for, um... And the DLC for, like, Dark Souls 2 was, what, like, two or three areas? Large areas, beautiful areas, you know, the cauldron with the chain. But, uh... This is, this is a game in itself. I'm speechless, practically. I will say they kind of reuse the enemy tanks. birds already. Just a board war? Okay. I abandon here my eye. Cool, I guess. Check our items real quick. Inventory. We've got uh, seven of these scad fragments. Complete restores HP and heals all ailments. Holy crap. 
Special Physic, Blessed by America, Queen of the Earth Tree, Restores HP, blah, blah, blah. Once created several of these for Mesmeral's sake, but never again. Seems like some bad blood there. Yeah, this area goes on and on. I'm, I'm a little bit um, worried about how long it's going to take me to complete this section of the game. I'm going to go back to the regular game and not even want to play it, probably. Or not where, and not really know where I picked off. Left off. started telling me that the hard way. We've got to level up waiting in the bank. We're still fighting him. Come from right. That had me a little worried. You have not taken very much damage at all. Yeah, no. I'm gonna check for items. Well, they're distracted. That's a new enemy type. No, it's not. It's the, uh... It's the thing from, uh... Uh, Captain Warren. Yeah, that was dumb. Like, oh, you know, they don't do that much damage. They're that enemy. <laughs> uh, buddy. Buddy, I hate to break it to you. Let's head back over here. Familiar. Do not be confused. I feel like they could color them different. Anything. <laughs> make them a little wider, make them a little taller. Ruined Forge of Stalhar Fall Past. By grace, if ever I see another rock, I shall find it, and this I have no doubt. The altar of the forge cannot be far. 
Let's light this bonfire. Not even gonna correct myself anymore. Just take a schnoozer. And can't do anything there. Level up. Now the real question is, do we start going straight into dexterity? For our spiel. For our spear. For our spear. I don't think so. I think we keep going into mind. Because we are running out of FP and I do not necessarily want to take away what we got in here. Six. Smith, script, spear. Hold on. Spear engraved with a smith script, a throwing weapon created through the smithing arts. Execute a strong attack, a dashing strong attack, or a mount a strong attack to throw the spear. So you have to strong attack with it. So it needs to be primary or in your right hand. It needs to be dual welded or in your right hand. Int 11, Faith 11. That's an interesting one. A throwing item. Let's grab this over here. Two and a three. Okay. Gas. Probably should not have stood on it. It could have exploded. Five and a six. And top off since we don't know what's around any corner. Like that guy. Oh my god. Hello. He's got a fire attack. He had something on his back. It was like a perfect gem. Oh my god. Red gem. I mean, shit, it don't matter because the moon cycles us.
I want to continue this because I want to know what's at the end of a dungeon like this. That looks like it has a lot of lore. But between this guy and the next. six and seven. I wonder if he responds. If he responds, that would be worth farming. <clears throat> Only one. We need six. How many eights do we have? We have seven eights, and so we need uh, twelve, so we need five more eights. And then we've got the 25 right there, so we don't have a max leveled weapon. That's pretty insane. Come back for you. It's alright. You'll be here. Thinking about it, there is a boss in this in this uh, dungeon. There's a boss in here. Right, well, good thing I dodged that on accident. What? Oh my god. <laughs> we're out of everything. I think we're done here. I think we're gonna backtrack. I love the design though. It's awesome. We're gonna backtrack. We're gonna make our way elsewhere. I don't know where, but elsewhere. We need to still find a waypoint, not a waypoint, a, uh, a map fragment. We haven't increased the size of, uh, size of our map at all. That's what we're planning on doing. on the far side. Uh, very in 
interesting. Okay. Ghost Glove Wart 7. I'm just randomly picking up Ghost Glove Wart. Continue to head back this way. We're gonna run into the cult fanatics. Oh, but there is a bonfire right here with the little Mechlips cross. Take your hat off of you. <laughs> I abandon here the flesh of my body. Okay, he's not very talkative. Believe it or not. Oh, there's a dog hiding now. Oh, and there's a pot thrower. Can't see him. Probably that uh, sheep over there. Let's see the map. More thrones. We still do not. I mean, we're getting close to this waypoint. Waypoint. I keep calling it a waypoint map fragment. But I'm not seeing anything else over here. genuinely just want to see what the map looks like without looking it up. telling you Dante's Inferno you take one peek in and it's just limitless I nearly just jumped to my death it's insane there's already a message down there it's been out for like five hours eh, at this point like six 
A7, somewhere in there. And there are already messages at the very bottom of the frickin' ruins in the middle of nowhere. Oh, there's one of these. What's that? Oh no, I'm not dealing with you. Killed me enough already. that I can't even see. I think we're venturing a little far off from what we really need to be focusing on. I think... Oh, you're mad. Oh, and you're ugly. You're mad and you're ugly. What is this? Another fragment. Far to the north. Shadow Sunflower. Shadow Realm. Are y'all a boss fight? No, you're not. Heal from afar. Let me out of here. I don't want to deal with you. Y'all suck to deal with in the first place. At this point, I'm kind of just running through areas, trying to find uh, anything, really. God, these stupid birds are back. and scale in a cookbook. A lot of these guys are uh, nice nowadays. I think we're hitting the edge of the map. No, we are not. That is a huge castle directly above us. Let's uh, find a bonfire and just a warp back home because I do not want to continue progressing blind anymore. This area has to be linked to the waypoint that's further south uh, west. Gotta be, huh? Rao Rao base? Ra. It's probably something like Ra. I mean, it's gorgeous, absolutely. The architecture, the huge spanning bridges. God. I mean, we're we're far off from where I thought we were going. We still need to hit this. Man. Okay, let's reset. Let's take a step back. We're not finding what we want to find. Actually, let's go back to more ruins. Run directly towards the waypoint that I'm going to create on the map fragment. Boom, just like that. Number three, right there. We can do that. not been this way just yet. Beautiful. Hey, we found it. 
found another cauldron. Um, little crossroad section. There's probably a bonfire up there. We we're getting close to that huge capital, which we were we were there earlier. So let's grab this. Let's go do Altus. Okay. So this is what we knew. Quarter reprimand. Oh man. Oh boy. Oh man, that's huge. So we were, I think we were traveling along here. Right? No. Came through here. I think we somehow, we went through here. And we came out like right here. Let's go get the bonfire over by this uh, cross, and I think we are going to be done for the night. Who is that guy? Look at him. Right there, t by the tip of my spear. Like waving a flame around. Oh, it's just a standard guy. Okay. So my thoughts so far my thoughts so far the design of the area is gorgeous like look at that fog rolls in and it could be friggin someplace in Europe it's absolutely gorgeous Monks must have made the best win. Okay. Always a good uh, good note to read. He was upset that I talked to him that many times. You have a knack for timing, my fellow. I found the site of a new cross. Take this. Mikola has said as much himself. He wishes now to throw it all away. He says the act though undoubtedly painful, will sear clean the Earth Three's wanton sin. The truth of his claim can be found at each cross, which is evidence enough to earn my belief. Go to the misshapen tree of Umbra. In that forsaken place, blood must spill. The blood of your fellows, the Earth Three faithful. Go to the misshapen that for... Okay. Touch the bonfire. Let's grab this guy. Grab that. Talk to. Hello her. again. Did you meet my compatriots? They're quite the congregation, from places as far and wide as you can imagine. Doubtless it have all come to blows at first glance. Were it not for the charm kindly Mikula put upon us, this is what allows us to serve together. The work of a living God. Oh, that man is known as Dane. He's been in the service of Mickey of the Kind longer than I. He might be solemn of cheer, but is a fierce warrior nevertheless. There's no cause for concern. Dane's reluctance to speak to you is no fault of your own. We've been acquainted for quite some time, but even I am yet to hear his voice. Perhaps one day. Wondering about the horn scent, are you? True enough. In any other circumstance, he'd be at our throats. Long ago, Queen Marika commanded Sir Mesmer to purge the tower folk. A cleansing by fire. It's no wonder the horn scent holds the earth tree in contempt. That aside, man is by nature a creature of conquest. 
And in this regard, the tower folk are no different. They were never saints. They just happened to be on the losing side of a war, but it's still a wretched shame. Let's go ahead and touch this guy. Maybe. Maybe. Are you not one? You should be one. Touch cross there. Carved my words coalesce. I abandon here my heart. <laughs> um, so technically, by the look of it, yeah, there's a boss fog up there. I wonder if we can progress through it backwards. Let's go take a look real quick. You cannot. Okay. Yeah, so we definitely took the long way around. Supposed to clear through the forts, up through this area, and boom, 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 boom. There's the boss. Which, I've seen some of the bosses, and if that is the one that I'm thinking it is, I want nothing to do with it. <laughs> that boss is gonna whip me sideways. Let's go ahead and take a seat. Um, we're halfway to a level up, level 100. Let's throw our inventory. Tears message and an illustration of a monk, his hands held together. Seek me to the east if you wish to pursue the way of the warrior. When you find me, you will challenge me to a bout. There is no need for words. Pearlescent scale. A glassy, glistening fragment of pearlescent hue. Crafting. Found by hunting lamprey. And embedded deep within the skin. All right. My thoughts so far, the world is gorgeous. I mean, look at this. Don't even know what that is over there floating. Huge spiraling mountains, the moon cresting the waves of drapery that shouldn't even exist because it would be millions and millions of miles long huge towers stretching into the sky if we can reach that Erd tree which it does not look like we can it looks like this is the end but if we could reach the base of the Erd tree that would be Phenomenal. There's just so much to do. This is a DLC. This is a DLC, and it's basically its own world. Yeah. Crazy. It doesn't really look like there's a way to cross over. Right. I get that. Oh. Oh, this is where I was. What? No. Where? Hold on. Where is this? I don't remember this uh, side of grace. Yeah, no, this is where I was. So we could probably now maybe traverse over to this uh, map segment and get it. Let's go ahead and ping it. So we remember to do so. We have one here. And we have one here, down to the south. We've got a lot left to go. It's gonna be a huge area. I'm super excited to explore it all. So, if you're following here on Twitch, I'll probably see you tomorrow, later in the day. If you are following on YouTube, uh, by this point, I should have a date picked out of whenever I load it up every every week. Either maybe a Thursday, Friday, maybe a Sunday, maybe a, you know, Monday, Tuesday, in addition to what I already have uploading of Elden Ring. We'll see. I don't know. 
I've got a lot of series already running on YouTube. But these four are going to be uploaded back to back to back. Um, it's 1 a.m. where I am, so it's going to be uploaded on the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. And then after that, we'll go to a different schedule. So either way, if you're following along on YouTube, keep at it. We are four-ish hours in uh, to the DLC, and it's been impressive so far. Uh, if you are following along on Twitch, you know, we'll be here. We're always here. Either way, thank you for tuning in. This has been Elden Ring. My name is Ludo, and I will catch you all next time.